What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I got something special for all you tool nuts out there, some organizational tips. What's in this bag is gonna be the only toolbox organizer you'll ever need. So let's get into it today. So, backstory. As you guys know, I got my new toolbox and I was looking for better ways to organize my tools. I came across a couple YouTube videos about this company called Alien Space Saver. Watched a few reviews, watched a few unboxings, thought, hey, that looks like it'd be a really cool idea. Reached out to Mike with Alien Space Saver. He said, yeah, let's work together. So he sent me everything that's in this bag today all for free for this video here. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for everything you're doing to help us here. Your products are awesome. So let me go ahead and get it unboxed, show you guys what I have, why I went with Alien Space Saver, and why you should as well. So the first thing I got here is their socket organizer. So this socket organizer is a three-piece organizer, meaning that it has enough stock or has enough in here for your quarters, your three-eighths, and your halves. So that's the first thing that he sent me out. The second thing that he sent me out here was his wrench organizer. And although it's called a wrench organizer, I actually call this your everything organizer because this thing will organize everything under the sun. So let's go ahead and get this open and show you what's in it and why I say that this can be held for everything. First things first, right out of the bag, you get three sets here of two 10 inch aluminum rails and the compartments that itemize your different wrenches. You also get a set of connecting rods. So if you want, instead of doing one 10 inch rail, you can combine these for one 30 inch rail or however you seem to want to do it. So once we get down underneath my toolbox and figure out how I want to lay these out, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. But let's get this first one open here. So again, two 10 inch aluminum rods, all of the wrench organizers that you'll need. And how these work is you just, is all you do is you take your rod and you just snap it on there. And it's a tight snap just so that they don't move. And then once it's on there, you can actually slide it back and forth, up and down, however you need to do it. But just remember it is a tight fit. And that's because once it's on there, you don't want it to move because you don't want your wrenches or whatever you're using to, to move on these. So there's the first one. And then I'm gonna put the second one on here for you. Again, it's a tight, tight snap. All right, so then we got the second one on there like so. And let me show you why I say this is not just a wrench organizer, but a do everything organizer. They call it a wrench organizer. And the way that it works for your wrenches is you can just sit it in there and you can push them close together so it sits straight up like that. You can pull it apart so that they angle or you can pull it even farther apart so that they lay flat. Kind of depends on how you want your wrenches to look. For me, my drawer's a bit deeper so I can set them straight up, but I like being able to see what size they are. So I'm gonna put it just at a little bit of an angle so that when I pull that drawer out, I can see the numbers easily. But the reason I say this is a do everything organizer is not only does it work with your wrenches, but you can put your screwdrivers in it. Push it close together, it's not gonna go anywhere. You can also put it in your socket drawer and now it's a holder for your extensions. If you don't need it for your extensions, boom, take your pair of pliers and boom. Now it's holding your pliers. So this one set can hold your screwdrivers, your pliers, your extensions, or your wrenches. Whatever you need, this thing will hold it, this thing will organize it for you. All right, so now that you've seen how you can use this and how it'll work in your drawer, I'm gonna take a second set and open it and we're gonna pull out the extenders and show you how you can extend it all. All right, so all you gotta do is take your first set, your two additional extending rods, and then you're gonna take these longer clips right here. They come in one at a time, so boom and boom. You're gonna take one, and you're just gonna snap it over the one. And you're gonna take the second one, same thing. 
You're going to snap it over the... Snap it over there. And make sure when you snap it over that you're only covering about halfway so that you still have half of an opening there so that you can stick the other rods on there. And then you just take your new rods, snap her on there. Snap her on there and boom. Now, instead of having one 10 inch rail, you now have one 20 inch rail. And again, they send you two more. So if you don't want a 20 inch rail, you can take the 10 inch ones on here and now you have a 30 inch rail. So really modular, can be used for everything and anything under the sun. Really good. Again, you can put your wrenches here. Let me show you. So there you go. You can put your wrenches, your screwdrivers, your extensions or your pliers all in there. And again, you can take these little blue tabs and slide it back and forth on the rail as needed. So you can get it as narrow or as wide as you need to because so like something like this, I would probably slide this last one back, probably about right there, snap her in. And that way the pliers sit down a little bit. Obviously if you have a thin drawer, this isn't gonna work for these types of pliers. But if you do have a, a deep enough drawer, you can also sit it that way really. But if you have a deep enough drawer, you're gonna save a lot of space by putting them completely upright like that and stacking all of your pliers that way. So space savings, modular, minimalistic. That's why I went with these. That's why I reached out with Alien Space Saver and said, I need these in my toolbox. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the front of the toolbox and we're gonna show you how I have my wrenches set now and how I'm gonna have them set up in the future. So let's get in front of the toolbox. All right, so now let's show you my, my wrench drawer and how it saved me some space. So first of all, don't worry about these sizes. These sizes are not in order. I just put them on there for demonstration purposes. But this is the Tecton wrench organizer that I typically use. And you can see it takes up a lot of space in my uh, drawer. That's for 12 wrenches. Those same 12 wrenches are now organized with the Alien Space Saver wrenches, which are right here. Same 12, just metric, standard. And look at the difference in sizes. Like this is completely done right there. And I have enough room in my wrench drawer now where if I take the extenders, extend this out, I can fit all of these in one row and saving me all of that space. Again, comparison, the Tecton wrench organizer versus what the Alien Space Saver does. The other, I actually have two other types of wrench organizers that I use. The other one is just my Mac wrench case, organizes it probably the smallest compact way you'll be able to. Great for my toolbox, my mobile toolbox, where I can just throw it in the bag and take off. But when I'm here in the shop and I need to work on stuff, I don't like it because I have to open it up and grab it, close it. But it, again, it lets me know if I have something missing or not. The other set I have is these Quinn set here. And that's just your, plate, your basic organizer case that they come in brand new. But again, that's five wrenches. And when I take those five wrenches and I sit it here on top, it's almost taking up the exact same amount of space as these 12 wrenches right here are. So that's why I went with the Alien Space Savers. This is gonna give me so much more room. It's gonna put so much more tools in it since I went with a 56 inch box. I just think it's phenomenal for organization, space savings, and getting the most room out of your toolbox. So let's go back up top to the toolbox and let's talk sockets. All right. Now that we checked out the wrench set, let's go ahead and check out the socket organizer. So this socket organizer is a three piece set. So again, you get your extenders if you need to make it longer, all of the pieces that you need. But the difference with the three piece set is you get six of your 10 inch rods and two of your, I would say probably four, yeah, about 14 inch rods. So you get six 10 inch rods, two 14 inch rods. Just like all socket organizers, you put your socket into the um, part that sticks out and it locks it in place. So this three piece set will cover all three of the types of sockets you need. Now I'm gonna preference that. A three piece set won't cover all your sockets. This three piece set would cover a metric set. So you would need to buy a second one if you're gonna do an SAE. So if you're someone that has a, boat, a boatload of sockets, meaning quarter to half inch in metric and then a full quarter to half inch in 
standard, you're going to want to buy two packs of these, and then you're going to want an additional pack for anything of your specialty sockets, like impacts, hex keys, anything like that, you're going to want to buy a second pack. So just keep in mind, one pack will do one, uh, one size metric or standard. So these work just like all the other ones. So again, you'll just take your, let me grab the quarter inch one. You'll take your quarter inch tab, and again, you're gonna push it on there, or push it on there, maybe. There we go. They snap in, boom. A drawback to these are you're going to have to put all sizes on the same rail. So this same rail will only be quarter inch. Reason being, if you take your three inch, your three inch is actually gonna be wider. And then half inch, again, even wider. So you can't change sizes up. Everything's gonna to have to be quarter inch, three eighths or half inch. But the cool thing about this is you have one slot for your normal standard depth and then you have a second one for your deep well. So you can get both types of sockets on one clip on one rail. Again, thinking about being modular, being easy to adjust, customize, and also the main reason is saving space. These things are gonna save you a crazy amount of space. So what I have here with me is what I typically put my metric sockets in. My normal sockets chain or were six to 19. I went out and I bought just four extras, which is 21, two and three. So or actually, I don't think that's right, right? Nope, it's 20, 22, 23 and 24. So these ones are specialty sockets. I'm sorry, not that one. These ones are specialty sockets. Um, I don't use a whole lot. Um, so your standard 3 eighths is going to be your 6 to your 19. So this is what we're going to put in first in here to see what kind of space it saves. So let's get into that. All right, real quick before we get into it, I just want to do a quick kind of count over everything. Like I said, you get 6 of the 10 inch, 2 of the 14 inch, and then you get 15 of the 3 eighths inch, you get 15 of the half inch, and then you get 14 of the quarter inch. So again, that's all I use. I usually have 14 per size. So that works perfect for me. So now that we went ahead and, and kind of figured out what all we have here in the three piece set, now let's go ahead and build that three eighths rail and see what we can fit on there. And wait, before we go any further, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That knows I'm doing something right and that you guys enjoy what I'm doing. I love making these tool videos for you and I wanna keep making them, but I'm only gonna keep making them if you like them. So again, give me that like and give me that subscribe. All right, so full transparency. We got all the deep wells put on there and I can only fit six through 18. I got one missing, of course it's the 10 mil, but six through 18 on one 10 inch rail. So if you're just someone that has that basic six through 19 set and none of the extra specialties, you are gonna have to combine this other 10 inch rail on this side just to put you that one extra socket there. But what you could always do is cut off as much of it as you needed they may make this only an eight inch, but at least you're not having a bunch of wasted space. Um, but if you're someone like me who has additional three eight sockets, it's not a problem. We're just gonna take this, we're gonna extend it out and then we'll continue with these. And then that way I'll have enough room to put on my additional three eight sockets that I have. But I will show you this. So this is again, six through 18. So if I take this and line it up, so comparing Alien Space Saver to Tekton, or I think Ernst is the same one, six is lined up with the six, but the 18 is actually lined up with my 15. So this set should stop about right there. And so there's about two inches. So you're saving two inches by going Alien Space Saver versus a Tekton or an Ernst tray, which this one seems to be the most popular tray or at least growing on a lot of people. Depth wise, so depth wise you're saving, yeah, probably another two inches or so. So you're saving two inches in the length. You're also saving two inches in the width. So that's gonna save you tremendous amount of space from your sockets here. So let's go ahead and fill out the six through 18 on my shallow side. Again, we have a few skips here because I like to lose my 
sockets like everybody else does. But let's go ahead and get those put on here and see what it looks like as a finished product. So as I sat here and started putting the shallow sockets on this rail, I ran into something that I think is important. So let me flip it over and I'll show you. My, my deep wells is an entire Tecton set. Um, I've been slowly converting all of my sockets over to Tecton. I, I just love them. But my shallow um, set or my standard depth set are all a hodgepodge. So this is just a basic Stanley. Um, this one here, or no, this one here is a Husky. That one's a Craftsman. That's a Craftsman. These are Stanleys. So it's a bit of a it's a bit of a hodgepodge of my shallow depths. And what I have found is with some of these cheaper sockets, the walls actually thicker than these Tecton. So although these are spaced perfectly, I cannot get my shallows in there. So if you have a thicker wall socket or a cheaper socket like these Stanleys, you're probably going to have to elongate it, probably switch over to something like the 14s. Um, but if you have a thinner wall, you might even be able to get the full 19 on one row. So just something to be aware of is make sure that they'll all fit, not just one size. But let me go ahead and get these all adjusted and try to get them all on there for us. All right, after a little persuasion and sliding the rails back and forth to make room, we got them all on there, six through 18. I'm missing my 18 shallow depth. I'm um, just like I'm missing my 10 millimeter um, deep well. So shame on me, I need to go to timeout because I keep losing my tools. But so this is what it looks like. Again, six through 18 lines up perfectly well where, where my 15 millimeters actually would have stopped on the Tecton. So we have all this space. And if you combine these over, it is about three inches longer than this whole thing. And the reason I bring that up is I have hexagon sockets or hex heads sockets. And I also have like my spark plug sockets and my specialty sockets. That's all going to go on here. So at the end of the day, having a second one of these, which I do have in my socket drawer full of all the specialty sockets will be completely eliminated and it'll all be on this rail. Now I can't do that today because I don't have enough of the snap-ons. So again, you get 15 of these when it comes to the 3 8 drive, good for one set. You can buy these individually from Alien Space Saver if you need more. That's what I'm gonna do, is we'll just continue to buy more of these so that I can get it on there. I'm also probably going to switch over and buy a few of the just regular 16 inches, just so I don't have to worry about the extensions but that's for another video. So as you can see, we have all of the sockets on the rail. We're gonna go dive right in front again to check out my socket drawer and see what type of space this actually gives us. So let's go down below and do that now. So there you go, inside my toolbox, you can actually see the size difference. That is my SAE set. That is my metric set. So you can see right there, the size difference between the Alien Space Saver versus the Tecton ramp. Yeah between the Tecton ones I have, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna come over here and we're going to switch out the quarter inch in the Alien Space Saver as well. And then also switch these over into the Alien Space Saver from a half inch impacts and see what kind of room we create there. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like after I convert everything to Alien Space Saver that I have. So this is what I was using and this is my quarter inch and my three eighth inch tray. So this is excluding my half inch tray. And when I bring it over to the Alien Space Saver part, that is half, three eighths and quarter inch. So you can tell right here that all three sizes take up the same footprint as just two sizes with your traditional socket rail or your more popular socket rail. So once I convert all of my sockets to this Alien Space Savers, then I will have so much more room and such a smaller footprint in this drawer that it's gonna be crazy how much more I can fit in here. So again, here it is side by side. That is a 3 8 and a quarter inch tray compared to a half inch 3 8 and quarter inch set from Alien Space Saver. So as we wrap up this video, I do wanna give you my final thoughts. You know, all in all, 
this alien space saver i think it is a tremendous value and a tremendous idea for anybody whether you're diy backyard mechanic or a professional i mean other sets like these something like the toolbox widget it's going to do the same thing but you're saving a lot of money by going with alien so with alien more specifically with the wrench organizer when you compare aliens space saver with toolbox widget you're saving about half the price going with alien space saver over toolbox widget and they do essentially the same thing plus i like how much more modular and more customizable the alien space saver wrench set is so even if we look at like toolbox widget or we look at the basic aluminum socket rail or the tecton and ernst um socket trays that they have these are going to give you much more options they're going to give you much more room to grow and they're going to give you much more customizable so that each set fits perfect in your toolbox specifically now if you watched my harbor freight video you know i went with a 56 inch toolbox and i condensed it from a 72 to a 56 and by using these alien space savers i'm actually able to get double if not triple the amount of tools in this toolbox than I did in my previous toolbox. And that's a real testament as to why you should have Alien Space Savers in your toolbox. It'll allow you to save money by getting a smaller toolbox, but then ultimately allow you to spend more money on the tools that you need to actually get the job done. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it tremendously. And again, if you have any critiques for me, if there's any other products that you would like me to review or anything like that, please drop it in the comment below. I love to listen to all those. I love to read those and I love to interact with you guys. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, but until then I'll catch you in the next one.